Hello, my name is Matthew H. and I'm a rising junior at San Francisco University High School. And for the first milestone of my main project, I created a DMX receiver using an Arduino. DMX is a signal type used commonly in the used most commonly in theater lighting. It is sent over the RS-485 communication standard, which uses two wires of opposing voltages uh, to increase signal integrity and transmission rate. Uh, DMX is a signal that operates at 250 kilobits per second um, and sends packets containing all the channels uh, that the controller can output. It starts with a zero channel that is always set at low and then it proceeds to count up in channels sequentially. Uh, every channel contains a low start bit, eight data bits, two high bits, and then a padding space. I had many problems interpreting the DMX signal. Uh, my original plan was to use a shield uh, as a DMX as, um, as an RS-485 interpreter, but that didn't have any resistors to isolate the IC from the DMX signal itself, as well as it, due to faulty wiring, the data plus and data minus pins would short, causing for all the data to be garbled. Um, I ended up using my own, I ended up creating my own DMX uh, interpreter using an, uh, an MX, a MAX 485 IC um, wired into two chassis mount uh, XLR 5 pin jacks. Um, on the software side of things, I also had a bunch of problems. The first of which was that the begin that the first library I wanted to use, which was designed for the shield, could only write DMX, it couldn't actually read it, and it also had no documentation to go with it. The second library I used also didn't have any documentation, but that didn't work at all. The third library, which is the one I'm using currently, works properly um, and is relatively easy to use. For this uh, for future steps in the, pro in the um, project, I'm going to uh, have it be able to control a matrix of NeoPixels as well as move that, move that matrix around using two stepper motors. Thank you.